so we're here today to present a new custom vent solution um, for air registers and flooring. Um, it's called the ARIA vent. Uh, this is it right here. So the ARIA vent is made of uh, two components, the body, which is this, and the tray. Um, and you just slide it in like so. And then you can install it as a top mount air register and retrofit that into any floor register that you have. They told you that would happen. Um, so the floor vent can be installed on a floor, on the wall, and also on the ceiling. Um, the way you install it on the wall and ceiling is that there are four screw holes in here and you just fasten them to the two by fours in the wall. And the same thing goes for the ceiling. So it's as simple as cutting a piece of tile that fits the tray. Um, and then you build up the tile, depending on how thick your tile is. It can be done with wood, carpet, cork, drywall, horse, any material. Uh, basically, the depth of the tray is 7 eighths thick, so that will accommodate every single flooring material that's on the market. Um, so you build this tile up, and then you insert it in. And it looks like this. Go for it. <laughs> so if you have a floor in uh, marble, then obviously you fill in with the leftover of your marble floor. Uh, let's say you had wood, you can also use wood. We have a few representation on, on uh, our video where we show mosaic, uh, wood, and other components that you might have on your floor. Um, as Roberta said, it is very easy to install when it's top mount. We call this installation top mount because the lip sits on the top of uh, the surface. Like a sink that could be top mounted or under mounted, this could also be under mounted. And the system is actually relatively simple. So we just built this tile up even farther now. Here, I'll hold the screen. Okay, so in, so in real life, yeah. we would uh, glue everything, but this is the look that you would have when it's an undermount. The lip disappears. And you still have access here. You can still slide this guy out. Um, and you can control airflow like this push that in, open and close. The airflow on our vents are equivalent to that of a traditional grill vent. The airflow of this vent um, can even exceed that of um, some water jet vents. The disadvantage of, or the advantage, depending on how you see, of the undermount installation is that it can't be retrofitted. It obviously needs to be done at a subfloor level before the flooring is installed. Um, so if that's an option, and you're getting new flooring, that's great. If you've had flooring in your home for already 10 years and you don't have the option of ripping out flooring and putting new one in, um, then the top mount is the perfect. All you need is a leftover piece of your floor, which is common. A lot of people keep a piece or two just in case for damages. For new installation, um, this is a, a very quick way to customize your floor vents as you need no time other than having, you'll have to have only this, the, the box ready and the installer on site can actually cut very quickly and economically your insert to suit your floor, walls or ceilings. That's a great advantage. Uh, this is a proprietary invention. We have a patent on this and, and we, we think this is going to be the next uh, high-end vent solution for uh, custom build homes. Um, today we have uh, a, a something new, very new. Um, in fact, it's not even on the shelves. Uh, it's what we call the flush mount vent, which is a, a, a new development. A flush mount vent is uh, a vent that has no lips and yet has uh, walls on the trough so that uh, we do not expose the edge of the tile. Sometimes a tile can have uh, an unfinished edge. This is one non 
it's all finished, the sedge. Uh, having to have an undermount uh, installation requires some extra finishing. So if you're working with something like a porcelain or a ceramic where it has a biscuit on the bottom and there's a different color between the top and the bottom, or if also the hassle of polishing the inside of this edge and this edge is too much, that's where the flush mount kind of comes in and works. Um, and so we'll show you that. So a flush mount vent has three embodiment instead of two. Has a raw fin, has a box, and then has the tray. In this example, the raw fin has been installed already uh, using screws on a regular floor. We're using the floor system, but this could apply also walls or ceilings. Um, here's the tile. The installation is actually relatively simple. I'll show you how it's done. We install the rough in first, then we position the box. The box gives us an indication uh, as per where are the edges where the tile is going to butt up to. In this case, we already have cut the tile magically. And of course, you would install with cement, multi-purpose cement. Uh, and then when you position it on top of the hole, you be very careful to be as accurate as you can. The box slides in and out. Uh, in this case, it's cut very precisely. Uh, I'm going to do a little trick in here. I'm going to just lift up these tabs temporarily. So that gives me a little bit of a cushion. Yeah. And what I'm doing, I'm pushing in. And I'm finding that this is my level. Um, I think I have it in my pocket. Here's an extension for a drill. So the metal of this box is a soft metal, so you can adjust it and easily screw into it, no problem, um, according to the height of your flooring. So now that I have the proper height, all I need to do, I need to secure the box, because we're walking on this box. We have four screws, I'm just putting two to make it easier. And now we can install the insert. We're going to show you how to do an installation of the insert uh, in a minute. But here it is. Beautiful vent. You see no, no lip. So the great thing for this uh, in particular is mosaic tile. There is no really easy way to customize a mosaic uh, vent. Um, and this is the perfect solution because you're covering all of the ridges of it and you can easily put a mosaic in there um, and finish it like you would the rest of the flooring. No need to polish inside or any of that nonsense. These walls holds and retain, they hold and retain as well the mosaic chips so that they don't fall apart. It's really the only customization for mosaic vents that has ever been invented before. Um, how to install the insert? is actually uh, the simplest thing. And uh, I guess, Roberta, you can. You want me to do it? <laughs> OK, I'll do it. <laughs> so an insert is uh, made out of a leftover piece. In this case, is this tile cut out, perhaps, from this tile. Uh, in this case, I already built it from uh, um, before. Um, I, I just put a leftover of, of a piece of quartz in this case. I fit it in. I can put glue in here, so this is permanent. Different flooring, you'll use different glue. The one that we're using today, it's just PL. Um, you can even use um, Tenex. Cement. I like Tenex. Or Tenex. <laughs> um, there you go. So, Here. so it's very simple. We'll take the tray. Can you use this tray? Yeah. Here's a tray. And here's our tile. 
the, the tile is too thin for the tray and there's way too much PL for me on here. So I'll go with the, another idea. I'll put the leftover piece of plywood in here. It's still a little bit low, but that's okay because I can put PL. You go. University degrees, sorry. That's it. So very simple. Add your spacing. Add some more PL. Alumni. Thank you. Add your tile. And you'll see that this is a little bit higher than the ridge. All you really need to do is push it down. Wait an hour and the job is done. That ensures that you are level with the ridges of your tray and that makes a perfect installation. So you leave it upside down this way and when you take it out, it's complete. So we have uh, two sizes and three colors in each size. Um, Across Canada, everything's pretty much standard, 4x10 or 3x10, and we carry both. Um, so this is the 3x10 here. You can see the tray is significantly smaller. Same exact installation, no difference. Uh, the three colors we have are the matte black, the appliance white, and uh, the matte gray. They're all powder-coated finish, so if this doesn't match the exact color that you want, you can easily repaint it simple, customize it completely to what you need? Um, painting this tray involves um, a very simple just spray paint. Uh, in here we recommend the powder coating paint just because you're walking over the paint and so you may scratch it. Here, since you're not walking over the metal, there's no need really to have an, any particular paint. In other words, if you had the red tile, you could actually paint uh, red the insert and you don't have to worry about scratches, obviously. Yeah. Questions? Yes. So we sell online at reevent.com and we also sell through um, a lot of retailers in the GTA. Um, I don't know. Well, we have, uh, in, in Quebec, we only have uh, the one. Uh, uh, Montreal. Montreal. Um, Montreal. Seattle, Montreal. In, uh, Cal in, um, oh, in Calgary, or sorry, in Alberta, we're going to be in five stores there called Everything Ceramic. Um, in Ontario, we're in all of the Seattle locations, Factory Tile. Tile Plus. Tile uh, Plus, uh, Tile Shop. Uh, quite a few. I can't um, remember them all. You, you can, can have a online. whole list of uh, retailers on our website, which is... Uh, Ariavent.com. Uh, um, this is a very new innovation. We are a marble shop uh, to begin with, and uh, we came out with a, this idea about a year ago, uh, servicing a client, and we thought it was uh, cool enough to actually uh, build uh, a, a product line and um, and to launch it. Um, we think that there is a need for uh, custom events. Uh, we have uh, often overlooked that this. Uh, a little spot in our floors, uh, walls or ceilings. Um, we are developing uh, other types of vents. One in particular is for drywalls. Um, so we believe that uh, this uh, basal look uh, will be here to stay and we will uh, definitely try to, to, uh, you know, to bring it in the market as, as, uh, as, as we go. The biggest selling point for installers is that um, there's no need for a return trip to complete the installation of the tiles, which um, ended up being pretty much the biggest selling point that we found. We learned that. Um, so it's, it's just easy. It's done. It's not like the other custom ones where you have to come back. There's a whole week's wait. And then you have to cut the hole precisely. If you're doing a top mount, the hole for the vent cutout does not need to be precise at all. Um, if it is an undermount, obviously you need to take a little bit more attention. Same thing with the flush mount. Um, and the other thing is, is that it can be used across all flooring. So, like we mentioned, wood, porcelain, ceramic, cork, 
carpet as well. There's no custom um, vent solution for carpet as far as we know. Um, so it's kind of a one size fits all in terms of flooring. And as Roberta mentioned, uh, these uh, four holes are there to engage the studs next uh, to the box. So this can be easily dropped into a wall or even, to, even into a ceiling um, so that you don't have those bulky and, and ugly uh, you know, grid system. Yeah. Um, the airflow can be controlled by opening up these two flaps. You'll always have access to this by sliding this tray out, even if it's installed undermount. Uh, you'll notice that these flaps are actually not hinged. They're made by a softer metal. Uh, we get asked this all the time, how many times you can open it before these give out. You can open and close it approximately 250 times before it gives out. And even when it gives out, the first one to give out will be the center ones, and the other ones will still work. Typically, people don't adjust the airflow maybe once a year in the summer and then maybe in the fall. Um, but if that's something that they do, then yeah, this and is Yeah, by the way, by too. default, all the new air vents, they have to have a damper inside. So this is really uh, something uh, extra that we're adding on this vent. Um, we will be coming with different sizes. We are working on a return air vent as well. So these are going to be things that you will be seeing uh, if you stay tuned on our website.